What's going on people and welcome to my match recap and player ratings for yesterday's game. Manchester United nil, Newcastle nil. A game in which I said I'd be happy with a draw and I definitely was happy with a draw. But I think the team's performance as a collective and as individuals could have been a lot better than it was. So that was a disappointing factor. But at least it weren't a loss. Um, a lot of people looking at it as a loss, but it's not. We're fifth place. Like, we're, it could be a lot worse. And... Obviously, I want us to be challenging for the title, but we're miles off of that. So if we can get in a Champions League spot, that should be the target, in my opinion. With the problems and issues we have at the moment, I think we're in a good place in terms of the league position. Still a long way to go, obviously. But I think a, a, it's a great result yesterday, a draw. Um, obviously, it's frustrating because we would have liked to have won and probably could have been more clinical again. But it's not a loss. And against the team that we're in form in Newcastle with huge confidence... I think it's a great result. The only disappointing thing is the team's performance as a whole and as individuals because they probably could have done better. It could have been worse. We could have come away with that game with a loss. So I, I'm not as down as about it as other people are and the majority of United supporters are by the sounds of it. So look, uh, it could be a lot worse than it is, to be honest. And I think we need to look at the positives and I think there are positives. So Newcastle obviously didn't have St. Maximum. Um, so that was a big bonus for us I think Bruno in the midfield for them had a good game Almiron I thought we we did well to keep under tabs for most of the game he didn't really have a sniff uh Wilson also I'd, apart from early on with the Varane challenge which by the way I think probably should have been a penalty um I think we got away with that I think we for the most part we kept Wilson quiet um we managed to keep Trippier quiet I think he had one free kick I remember so I think we did a, a very good job on the whole in terms of reducing them to chances. But we still need to do more on our end of the pitch in terms of goals and creation. So I'm not I'm not uh, overly happy that that we didn't get a win. But at the same time, as I said, I'm happy that if we get a draw, and we did. Just frustrating when you get a clean sheet, but you can't like benefit from that. So look, we get a point from it against a decent side, and I think we should be happy. And I, I think there's too many United supporters moaning right now. So... I'm happy with the result. Um, I'll get into the player ratings right now. De Gea, don't think he had a ton to do. Um, pretty quiet afternoon for him. I'd give him a five. Delo, five. I don't think he influenced enough going forward, but defensively I thought he rescued us a few times and, and stopped attacks before they could really get going. So I think Delo did pretty good. Varane, I thought, was the best of the defence. Apart from that early challenge on Wilson, I think after that he got better and better. And I thought he did several clearances and looked solid at the back. So Varane would get a six for me. Martinez, five. I don't think he was as involved as Varane was, but I don't think he was poor. So I'd give him a five. Shaw, I'd give him a five as well. I don't think he did anything particularly wrong. Um, but similar to Delo going forward, I don't think he offered enough. But defensively, I thought he was sound. So five for Shaw. Fred, I thought was the worst player on the pitch. Um... That midfield role for him, he just he can't do it. I think he lost the ball so many times um, and just not strong enough on the ball. The amount of times he just gets muscled off of it is is embarrassing. Um, and I prefer him to McTominay, but he really isn't doing a lot of favours for himself at the moment. So I could see if McTominay came back into the team, I wouldn't be shocked by it because he is at least scoring. But I think he is more, Fred's more mobile than McTominay, but on performance at the moment, he's probably not doing as well as, as McTominay is, and, and that's coming from someone that prefers Fred. Two for Fred yesterday. Uh, Casemiro, I see a lot of people praising him again yesterday, but I think he got caught several times in the midfield, lost the ball several times, and I don't think it was a great game from him. I don't think he was as bad as Fred was, but I don't think he was average either. I think he was below average for him. So I still think he's adjusting to the league and the speed of it. And I think that that is telling at the moment in his performances because he doesn't look in his reactions for me at the moment up to speed. I think his fitness is there, but his speed isn't yet. So a four for Casemiro for me yesterday. He could have had an assist saying that though with a, a beautiful outside of the boot cross into the box for Rashford with a header that Rashford should score and he missed the target. So he could have an assist, Casemiro, but his overall game, I think, still needs adjusting and hopefully it will come. just think he's adjusting to the speed still. So four for Casemiro for me. Sancho, I'd give him a six. Um, come back into the team, started, and I think that he was one of our better players. Created stuff, looked lively. Didn't always get on the ball, but when he did, I thought he looked one of the more promising players. 
um, and I think that he had a, a good game. So I'd give a six for for Sancho. Uh, Bruno, I'd give him a four. I thought he started quite well, but as the game went on, I thought he, he drifted out of it um, and was moaning a lot as the game went on as well. So I'd give him a four. I don't think he created enough and got worse as the game went on. So I'd give Bruno a four. Anthony, I thought it's probably his worst game I've seen him have so far for United. Got on the ball a lot, but I thought it was very wasteful with, with chances and assists for people. And his final ball, I thought it was the worst we've seen from him so far. So three for Anthony. Ronaldo, three. Didn't have a lot of service. So not a lot of it is, is his fault. You still would expect a bit more from him, even, even so he ain't getting a ton of service. Um, I don't think he's the Ronaldo that we've come to know. And I think he will be gone. Um... And I think his how unhappy he is when he got subbed as well, which I by the way I think was the right decision from Ten Hag. Um but Ronaldo was shaking his head constantly going off the pitch and then even when he was sat on the bench afterwards just shaking his head like I, I don't think he performed enough in the game for to stay on, so I don't agree that Ten Hag got it wrong taking him off. Disappointed from Ronaldo. Free. Rashford came on for Ronaldo, I give him a free, should have scored a header. Um but I thought he looked lively when he came on, but wasteful again, not clinical enough when he got the the chances. So I'd give Rashford a three. Um, and Ten Hag, I'd give him a four. I was quite happy with the starting lineup. He made two changes from the one that I, I would have gone with. Um, but then he only makes one substitution. And I don't understand why he only made one sub. The game was there to be won at times, and he didn't make the impact subs that could have changed the game for us, other than Rashford, who missed the chance. Um, but you have five subs to make, or there for you to make, and he makes one. And for me, that's not good enough. Um, the result, obviously, is a draw. It's not a loss, but we should still be aiming to get three points. I'm happy with it personally as a point, but if we want to progress, we have to get three points in these games, and we didn't. And because that, and the, the substitution factor... I'd have to give him a blow average, so I'd give Ten Hag a four. As for man of the match, it'd be v between Varane and Sancho for me, but I would give it to Varane. I think he was a bit more consistent through the game for longer periods of the game than Sancho was and had to deal with more, um, just being in the position he's in. But I think it between... I wouldn't be mad but with Sancho or Varane for man of the match. I would give it to Varane, um, pretty solid. And we got a clean sheet, so props to Varane and props to Sancho too. Uh, but Varane would be my man of the match. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys, your ratings and how you thought we got on and your expectations for the season and yesterday, if we met them. Um, and 2,000 subscribers by the 1st of December, what are you waiting for? The time is getting closer and closer, and we're getting closer, but slowly. We need to speed this up. We can only do it with your help, guys. Where are you? Where are you? Come and subscribe. Get involved on the road to 2,000. I'll see you on the next one.